Yo, what's good, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty good one. It's uh, definitely one that I've been waiting to tell for a while. Now, if you guys have been on this channel for a long time, you know in some of my past story times, I've talked about how I used to sneak into abandoned buildings for fun. Now, I don't really do that anymore because, you know, it's illegal and I'm an adult now. And if I get caught, I get arrested. But every once in a while, I still kind of go back and I like, take IG photos and stuff. But this story time is about one of the craziest encounters I've had at an abandoned building when I was 17 years old. So today's story time all starts off as a normal day. I was 17, like I said. I wake up, I brush my teeth, I take a shower, I get ready for my day. And one of my good friends hits me up. Let's just call this friend Tyler, okay? Tyler hits me up and he's like, yo man, I just found this building. It's like a mile away from your house. It's a huge ass abandoned hospital. I don't know how we haven't found it yet. We gotta go. Now, when I hear big ass abandoned hospital at 17 years old, I was beyond stoked. I was so excited. I was like, bet, come pick me up, let's do this. So I grab my camera to take pictures with. I grab an old pair of clothes that I don't really care about messing up. And my friend picks me up and we head to this building. Now it's just us two, no one else came with us. We get to the building, we walk inside. The front door was like busted down, like there was nothing stopping you from getting in. And we walk in and we start taking some pictures. We start checking out the building. And like a couple minutes into being there, I started getting a weird feeling. Like, don't get me wrong, I would get nervous going into these buildings all the time because they're big, creepy, abandoned buildings. But I had a different kind of nervous feeling this time around. I was nervous that the cops were going to come because some parts of this building looked pretty new. Like, obviously, there's parts of it that were really abandoned and fucked up. But then there was other parts that looked recently abandoned. So I start kind of getting nervous and I look at my friend and he sees that I look nervous and he's like, yo, it's good. I was like, man, do you think there's like motion sensors in here or like cameras anywhere? I'm really worried that like the cops are going to show up. He's like, dude, we're just here to take pictures. If the cops show up, it's no big deal. Like just tell them what we're here to do. We're not going to mess anything up. We're not vandalizing it. We'll be fine. I doubt this building has motion sensors or cameras. Like it's so abandoned. I was like, yeah, man, you're right. I'm just freaking out for no reason. I'm just being paranoid. So after that, we keep walking around and we start going up to one of the upper floors and we're just like taking pictures of all the abandoned stuff. And we're just like, you know, taking it all in. Just enjoying the weird, creepy building, right? And then all of a sudden, we hear a piece of glass break downstairs. And I immediately start freaking out. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Like someone's in this building. Someone just broke in. Someone's here. And my friend goes, dude, calm the fuck down. You're just being paranoid. It's an old abandoned building. Things fall off the ceiling. Things fall down. Wind will blow stuff over. People will come in here and graffiti. Like it's probably just some kids downstairs spray painting. Like, don't worry, man. No one's going to hurt you. No cops are here. Calm down. And I was like, all right, man. And he's like, let's go upstairs. Let's go to the roof. I'm like, all right. So we go all the way up to the roof and I look over the building when I'm on the roof and I look down and I notice something in the parking lot. A car is sitting there, but it's not just any car. It's a fucking police car, not a security car, not, you know, some random car that belongs to some kids that are graffiti. It was a police car with the lights on. And I look at my friend and he looks at me and he goes, fuck. I'm like, I told you, dude, I knew it. I had a feeling. He's like, yeah, dude, we have to get the fuck out of here right now. I was like, how do we get out of here? We're on the roof. He's like, all right, let's just go down to the bottom floor and let's jump out a window or something. I'm like, dude, he's probably on the bottom floor right now. He's like, yeah, we'll have to be quick. We'll have to avoid him. I'm like, all right, let's go. So we run downstairs, down all the staircase. We get to the bottom floor, the first floor, and we can see him across the hallway at the front door entrance looking around with his flashlight. And we immediately run into a different room with a window in it. And I hear the police officer yell, hey, stop. And he saw us clearly. So immediately me and my friend run into this other room that he can't see us in anymore and we jump out this window into the woods and just start running as fast as we can just trying to get away from this dude. Now listen, this wasn't a part of my plan. I was just following after what my friend was doing. When he ran, I ran because I didn't want to be alone in that situation. So I just followed him. So yeah, we went to the woods and just ran as fast as we could. And while we were running, you could only hear one thing, and that was sirens. Sirens on sirens on sirens. They kept getting louder and louder and louder, and you just kept hearing more and more and more. Like, fucking so many. Which means he called for backup, and all those sirens were a bunch of police cars pulling up to that abandoned parking lot. So we were running as fast as we could, because we knew the police were going to check the woods, and we had to get out of there as fast as possible, so we didn't get caught. So me and my friend end up running for probably a good mile until we're out of the woods, and we get out of the woods and we're in some random neighborhood in some dude's backyard, and we quickly run out of his backyard into the street of the neighborhood, and we just start walking on the sidewalk. We just start walking, catching our breath, kind of slowing down, trying to look like we belong because, well, 
We didn't want to get caught. But looking back on it, we didn't blend in whatsoever. We were two dudes, both wearing backpacks, both had cameras in our hands, and we both had dirt all over our clothes because we were going through an abandoned, dirty building, basically. And we're just walking and like trying to figure out what to do next. And my friend looks at me and he's like, dude, how many times is this going to happen to us? I'm having fucking deja vu right now. Now, the reason my friend said this is because this isn't the only time me and him have gotten into a situation like this. Me and the same friend were checking out an abandoned building right before this, probably like a few months prior to this situation, and a security guard pulled up and called the police, and we had to run through the woods again and escape this dude, and then come back the next day and get his car back and stuff. It was just a whole situation. So yeah, needless to say, me and my friend got into some trouble before. So anyway, me and my friend are walking down this sidewalk, not knowing what to do. My friend's car is in some parking lot by the abandoned building. Luckily, he didn't park it at the abandoned building so the cops wouldn't find it. But we still didn't know what to do because we were on foot. So my friend types in the restaurant address where he parked his car in that parking lot. And it was like a mile and a half away. And then he types in his home address and his house is three miles away. So we have two choices. We either walk to his house without his car and we come back for his car another day. Or we take the risk of going in near the police right across the street, getting my friend's car and leaving in his car and driving home. And we looked pretty suspicious. Like I said, we were wearing backpacks. We had dirt all over our clothes. Like if I was a cop looking for someone that was just in an abandoned building, I'd probably be looking for people with dirt all over their clothes because abandoned buildings are dirty and had backpacks because, you know, spray paint or cameras or whatever. So anyway, my friend decides he wants to go for his car. He's like, yo, we're going for the car. We're getting in it and we're driving away. I'm like, homie, are you sure that's a good idea? Like there's probably like seven cop cars over there by now. Like, are you sure that's a good idea? He's like, dude, I can't leave my car there. The restaurant that I parked it in at the end of the night is just going to tow my car if I leave it there. I don't want my car to get towed. I can't afford that right now. I was like, fuck, you're right. Okay, we have to go for it. So after that, my friend gets the directions, the walking directions back to that restaurant, back to where the abandoned hospital was right across the street, and we start our journey. So about 80% through this walk, like we're almost there. We're right down the street from the parking lot, right down the street from the hospital. I hear a car pulling up to us from behind, and it's slowing down. And I already knew before I turned around, it was a fucking cop car. I turned around and it was, and it's slowing down and it turns its lights on and it's getting dark at this point. So he turns his flashlight on us, like the big spotlight on his car and he rolls his window down and he goes, what's up boys? I was like, what's up officer? He's like, where are you guys coming from tonight? And I was like, oh, I'm coming from this neighborhood, like a mile and a half down the road. My friend parked his car over by this restaurant. We're just walking to go get it. And he's like, why is your car over there, buddy? And my friend goes, oh, I was drunk last night, so I parked it there because I didn't want to drive home. So I just walked home from the restaurant. I want to go get it now. And the cop goes, oh, how old are you? And my friend goes, 22. Now, my friend was not 22. He was 17. And the cop goes, you got some ID on you? And my friend's like, it's in the car. I'm about to go grab it. He's like, you can come with me if you want. You can follow me so I can show you my ID. Like, just really, like, poker facing, right? Like, my friend was lying so hard and he was saying it so confident that even he believed his own lie. And the cop goes, no, I'm not going to follow you. I believe you guys. I just had to ask because you matched the description of someone we're looking for. And my friend puts on the most bullshit concerned face ever and goes, oh, no, like, is everything all good? Like, are we safe? And the officer goes, yeah, you guys are safe. Like, just the abandoned building across the street. Some kids broke in. We were just making sure everything was okay. And my friend's like, oh, like, I hope you guys find them. Like, good luck. And the officer's like, yeah, thank you so much. Anyway, have a great night, guys. And he drives off. And I look at my friend and he looks at me and he goes, Bro, I don't know how the fuck I just lied like that. I was shitting myself on the inside. And I was like, let's get the fuck out of here right now. So we basically like fast walk back to his car. We hop in, we get in the car, and we drive off with no problem. And to this day, I look back on that and think, what the fuck were we thinking? Yeah, guys, in the end, everything was okay, luckily. We're all good. But uh, my friend and me weren't thinking at the time. Definitely not. So yeah, guys, moral of this story is don't repeat anything I just talked about in this story time ever because it could have gone a lot worse, worse than it already was. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time and found it to be crazy like I did. If you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.